Okay, it's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. We're starting a new game tonight. This is Crypt of the Necrodancer. This is a fun-ass rhythm roguelike dungeon crawler mashup game where you have to move along with the beat of the music, otherwise you... you pretty much don't move. <laughs> so it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Um, our goal will be to complete a run with all characters, which I believe is, let's see, two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Holy shit. There's fourteen characters. Oh my goodness. I thought there was a fewer than that. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's, uh, that's, that's gonna, that's gonna be our goal anyways. Who cares? That's fine. Uh, so let's, let's kick it off with just a, just a normal all zones mode. I'm using Cadence right now. She's the, the default character, the one that's unlocked right at the beginning. And also the, I don't know if necessarily the easiest, but certainly the most regular. Nothing special about her movement tech. One step per, one move per, it doesn't really matter. So let's, let's go. Let's actually start with the daily, why not? Oh wait, I've still got diamonds? Wait, one second. I've still got diamonds to spend, but I don't know what I'm going to spend them on. Oh, I guess we'll spend them here, that's fine. Apparently there's some new items I don't know about either, so we'll see how this goes. Hmm. Yeah, this one's in one run, blah blah blah. All right, here we go. So you see along the bottom, the little rhythm meter there. You gotta keep your button presses in line with that. Otherwise, you lose your turn, and there's a pretty high chance that uh, enemies will hit you, depending on their movement patterns. I actually need to turn up the sound a little bit so I can hear what I'm doing. I try to do it in sync with the music so I don't lose my... Uh, Lose my chain count when I go back in, which I'm probably still gonna do because let's be honest. Style that up just a couple. There we go. That should do it. Nice. We still made it. Managed to maintain it. So dungeon layouts are entirely random each time. So for each run you do, you gotta get used to something a little different. But you know, most some of the generation patterns are recognizable. Um, they change up per zone, which there are three levels per zone plus a boss. Uh, ooh, uh, I'm actually gonna blow that up. So Cadence's start has just a normal dagger and a normal shovel. The dagger has a one tile range. And I started out with the bomb which I just used on that shrine, which that was the shrine of war. Uh, bombing it gave me the ring of war. Um, which doubles my attack, or actually it just adds one to my attack rather, so now I attack for two damage instead of just one. Um, and it uh, forces more enemies to spawn. So that's good and bad because it means I'll get some more more gold. It's enemies, All enemies drop a set amount of gold when you kill them, uh, which means I can afford more shit at the shop. But that also leaves me without a bomb. But I think it was a, it was a worthy use of it. Oh dear, yeah, that's right, the, the shop is nearby. So, okay, so, all right, so here's the deal, right? I love this music a lot, like, super good. It's it's awesome, and it's great. And I'm gonna be singing along to it a whole bunch. So if you don't like that stuff, it's best to tune out now, because <laughs> I am very likely, oh nice, long sword. I'm very likely to sing along with the uh, good old Freddy Merchantry here, who's the name of the shopkeeper. Uh, maybe not right now, because I kind of got to focus on what I'm doing, but maybe maybe a little bit, a little bit later. We'll, uh, we'll do some singing. I'll try to mimic his voice as much as I can, because it's so fucking fun to do that voice. Um, but we'll get to that in a little bit. There's level one. So there's five zones, three levels apiece, plus a boss. And if I were any good at this game, I could knock it out pretty quickly, any given run. Um, but I'm not very good, but that's okay. That is A-O fucking K. And it's probably gonna make it harder me flapping my gums all the time, because I need to stay on rhythm. And it's a lot easier to do that when you can actually hear the music instead of hearing me flapping my gums all the time. But whatever. Oh, careful with that one. Oh, that's right. The Ring of War also has a knockback effect on any enemy you hit. So that red dragon was kind of a pain in the ass. But at the same time, doing two damage instead of one, plus the knockback, made it quite easy. Assuming I don't make a dumb, big old, dumb old mistake. So anyways, you start with the dagger, which I swapped out for a longsword, which now hits two tiles in any direction. 
Um, you also start with a very low tier shovel, which means you can break dirt blocks. Ooh, all right. Oh, nice. What did we get there? Oh, that is an obsidian harp. I don't know what the harp... I don't know the attack pattern of the harp, actually. Obsidian weapons are really nice, though, because um, their damage multiplier is based on your coin multiplier, which I don't know if you can see at the bottom center. Currently, I have a three times coin multiplier, so I would be doing three damage. But if you lose your multiplier, you lose the damage multiplier as well, so... <clears throat> kind of dangerous in that regard, but... If you're good enough, you can kind of maintain it and then just go to town. Ah, damn it, I lost my multiplier while I was singing. Damn it, that's it. Unfortunate arc damage. I don't know what that is. That must be something new. So they did just release, well, not just, but not too long ago, they released a DLC for this called Amplified, which added a new zone, a bunch of new enemies, a bunch of new weapons and items and shit. I think the axe is one of them up there. Um, but it's really, really super cool. <clears throat> totally worth it. Totally worth it. I think it's like 15 bucks over the base game, but honestly, they could probably charge 60 for this and it'd still be 100% worth it. Whoa, careful. Oh, that was dumb. Oh, fucking. Oh, nice. See, I already killed myself there because I got... I got a little nervous, a little shook up about what happened. They broke my stride pretty hard, and that was a shit daily. So whatever. I was gonna jump back into it. <clears throat> and one of the great things about this game is it comes with, like, five or six different soundtracks. Like, full, complete-ass soundtracks. And I've got it set to random, so... We'll, we'll get a mix of everything from all sets. But there's a specific tune for 1-1, one, 1-2, one, one, 1-3, one, etc, etc, etc. Ooh, gotta be careful of those, those, those doors. So yeah, there's a whole bunch of different stuff. Each enemy has a different movement pattern, so you kind of learn those and then attack. Attack accordingly so you don't take no hits and you don't lose your chain and you don't lose uh, anything else. You gotta be aware of how much health they have, where they're gonna move, where they're gonna move in relation to you, and then if you are going to be quick-witted enough to uh, have the execution to complete shit here. Like here, I've gotta make sure to strike once and then back off so he can move towards me again. Green dragons aren't that much of a problem, though. Actually, kind of wondering why I got the red dragon in one one last time. Oh wait, I think that's because of the uh, the ring of war. Also bumps up the tier of the enemies. So as you go along, they get harder and harder. You'll see different tiers. When you saw red, um, not red, saw white skeletons here. All right, this red bat moves on every beat, except the the blue bats move only every other beat. So you got to be careful. Adjust your strats a little bit. Um, so you saw white skeletons, uh, black skeletons, which have three health, and green skeletons, which has two health. Oh, what? I missed that. And then different kinds of uh, little hazards here. Uh, barrels roll when you hit them. I think you need uh, an attack of three to bust them open, those in crates. <laughs> That's so fun. Oh, you'll be hearing a lot of that tonight. Hey, Sam, how you doing? Resolution is small. I can dial it smaller still from here. There's like one notch smaller than this regardless. But I don't like playing it any more zoomed in than this, because I need to be able to see where the fuck I'm going, where the fuck shit is. But, if it's too small, I can certainly change it, and we'll see how it goes. Ah, uh, crap. Alright. Oh, oh, we got a little, little mimic here. What a douche. Oh, glass whip. Okay, so glass weapons are kind of special. They do four damage. Four base damage. And I already fucking lost it, because I'm an idiot. However, as you just saw, and I died. Nice. Whew! Okay. Excellent. That was, was a good run.
<clears throat> Anyways, glass weapons. If you get hit while you're carrying them, they break, and then you gotta pick them up again, and they're back to, like, single damage weapons. So, they are quite literally glass weapons where you gotta play well and not get hit at all to have any benefit from them. But, other than that, they are quite powerful. Quite powerful for base damage. Especially if you pick up a, a couple of the items that double your attack damage or something. Then, they become just absolute beasts and murder everything in one hit. Oh, alright. Health items, which I need to remember to use. You don't start with one, but... Usually they're fairly common in the low levels. Wow, alright, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Usually I get a little nervous when I get surrounded like that. And don't prioritize my hits correctly. And then die. Immediately. Like there, I almost did a dumb and moved down into the square where that blue slime was gonna move. And I would have taken a hit. <clears throat> I think I would have taken a full heart of damage there. Which would have thrown me off a bit, and then probably ended up me dying very soon. Sooner than I should. Because this isn't my first time playing this. But I am by no means good at it. But it's still a lot of fun. But that's like the story of my life on most games, so whatever. I'm gonna hang on to my bomb for now. So, the lowest ass level shovel can only break through uh, normal dirt blocks like these. You can get a tier 2 and a tier 3 shovel. Which allow you to dig through the stones, and then, ooh, crown of thorns, actually. Let's get that. <clears throat> um, but the tier 2 shovels let you dig through the little gravelly things, and then there are some solid stone blocks when we get a little bit later on. Which requires tier 3 or above. Or a blood shovel. Uh, which allows you to dig through everything, but you uh, use a half a heart in order to do so. Which isn't exactly ideal. But whatever. So the, the Crown of Thorns that I just picked up did half a heart of damage to me just by picking it up. But it uh, allows me to heal half a heart for every 10 kills I take. Or every 10 kills I get, rather. So it's rather useful for a, a nub like me, uh, assuming I can actually kill something. Oh, please give me a good weapon. Ah, uh, spear. Okay, so I can throw a spear like I can throw a dagger, but it has a, uh, a two-tile base range. But unlike the longsword, it only hits uh, one enemy in uh, sequence here. So now I can hit this guy in relative safety. Made him a lot easier than doing the little dragon dance. Oh, this is beautiful. I don't know if I'm going to get enough for this. Nah, I need one more, I think. Oh, this is great. This is great right here. Uh, I think five will do it. Nice! Okay. Oh, man. So what do I want? Is that the crack shovel? What is that? One damage, infinite damage after dig. Ooh. Or one dig, rather. Although I would really much prefer the defense. Although the phase dagger is pretty rad. So we're going to do that. We're going to take the phase dagger. I'm going to blow up this uh, shrine, which gives me a full heart container. Oh, and there was a shovel in the barrel. Perfect. So now I've got the tier 2 shovel, so I can bust my way through there. So, I hope I'm explaining all this correctly, because I'm not 100% on all the items and shit. But the dagger of phasing is super rad. You can deal damage to invisible enemies, like that ghost down to the south by two tiles. I can just go up to him and smack him in the face. Normally I would have to um, wait for him to become solid before I could strike him, but... Uh, that guy's gonna be a pain in the butt. It also does two base damage, which is awesome. So it's still only one one tile range. That's alright. It makes up for it. So the levels are timed, however, so I gotta be on my way before the uh, bars at the bottom kinda end. And when they turn red, that means you've got very little time left.
And I'm one that likes to explore and pick up all of the fucking uh, gold that I can. Okay, I sh probably shouldn't have lost a uh, thing there, but whatever. Ouch. Okay, good. It's by a bomb tile, so we're gonna see what's in there. A little carrot? A little carroty carrot? That's right. I forgot. The carrot uh, reveals the entire map for that level. Just rad as fuck. Uh, Riches scroll? Gave me 150 gold. Excellent. That'll be useful. I don't have a torch though, which just makes me nervous because then I can't see very far ahead of me. Except for places I've already been, I can kind of see the silhouettes of the different monsters. Alright, this monkey jumping on this tile down here needs to go fuck away. Thank you. Don't use any shrines. It's usually shrines are either good or bad. I mean, they, they grant you something, which is good, but then you usually give up something, which is bad. I'll explain the effects of those if I ever bother to take one. Which I probably won't, but, you know, possibility is there. Alright, so there, I just got a little heals from my crown of thorns for doing 10 kills. It's fucking rad, it means I don't need to use uh, a whole bunch of my healing items. If I ever remember that I have them, of course. I saw a little sparkle sparkle. Extra gold. Alright, we'll check the shop, and then we'll be on our way. Is he even singing? Is he singing? He is not singing. Oh, he's not at the point where he should be singing. Alright, so boots of strength. Awesome. That uh, adds one to my damage. So now, with the dagger of phasing, two base damage plus one from the boots, I'm doing three damage. Which is probably one of the best thresholds you can po possibly hit. I mean, more is obviously better, but three is usually the one of the better ones. Because you can bust open crates and barrels without using a bomb. And it's just a lot easier. Uh, bump, bump. So you can see on the bottom there. There's a little gap, and I fucked it up. Ow. Ah, oh, and I fucked it up. I should've used my health. My healing. My little piece of cheese. But I got nervous. And, fu and I fucked up while I was explaining this. But anyways, you see on the bottom there's a little gap between the notes. Which means you don't move on that beat. And if you move, it's the same as missing a beat otherwise. So you lose your turn, you lose your multiplier, and shit gets to attack you. So it's not great. It's not great to miss beats. Or do extra beats or anything like that. So now we're back to the beginning, because I'm a big dumb idiot. It's very hard to play while I'm explaining stuff, but it's okay. I'll do it because it's fun. Also gonna do something else while I'm playing, which is probably not the best idea. But usually on early levels, it's uh, not the hardest to take a drink while uh, keeping the beat there. Ooh, that was very lucky. That bat could have moved to hit me. Ah, war drum I don't like. So you can... Well, I guess it's alright, actually. So you can kind of just stay in place while using the drum, and then the more times you use the drum, the more it powers up your next attack. But, to use it effectively requires a presence of mind that I usually do not have. So we're probably not going to use it all too often. What do we got there? Ah, the sunglasses. Alright, so... Deal with it, number one. And number two, I now have plus one to damage, but I also cannot see enemies very well. So a little, little trade-off. That was a skeleton because I recognize the silhouette. We've got here a normal bat and a blue blob. But when shit starts getting real, trying to identify that stuff right away gets to be a bit of a problem. At least for me. 
That was alright. <clears throat> <laughs> Play Binding of Isaac so you know what's going on. Oh, don't worry. That's in the queue too. Or that's in the queue as well. I'm gonna go back to it. Play the newest DLC or newest expansion pack, rather. I guess it's not DLC. Eventually. But not now. We just started Crypt, man. I love Crypt. I'm trying to explain some of this so you can at least kind of follow along. Uh, oh, what was that? Uh, shovel of Courage. I don't know what that means. Oh, okay. So instead of not moving when I shovel, I now just move straight in. Which isn't the best for that sort of thing because I usually use uh, the shovel to buffer. Um, can I? Oh, okay. It is a tier 2 shovel. But then that extra movement when I go in makes me invulnerable for that, for that beat only. It's not permanent or anything. Uh, and I'm not sure. I don't think I can. I don't think I can do this. No. All right. So can't quite break down the uh, gold ones. Oh, I don't have enough. What the hell is this? Moldy cheese? I don't know what that does, so I'm not going to waste my money on it. But I'm not using an actual dance pad. Are you kidding me, man? I can barely do this with normal controls. Ah, fuck. I don't have the digger phasing anymore because I'm a big dumb idiot. And I died on the last run. I mean, I could be using a dance pad. You can't see below the waist, so, you know, I very well could be using the dance pad. Da, 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 da. All right, shit. So now I can't buffer my movements with digging anymore. Because anything I dig, I just move right away. So that's something. That's a bit of a problem for me, because I like doing that. Ow, fuck. Oh. Okay. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> that, that, uh, that freaked me out a little bit. Um, oh, a glass fucking broadsword. Or not broadsword, a longsword. So now the base damage on this is four, plus, uh, plus one for my fancy ass sunglasses. So I'm doing five damage at a strike. But, again, but if I get hit, I lose it, and I go back down to one base damage, which sucks. But as you can see, I'm just fucking powerhousing through every boss. Which is rad as fuck. And now since I've got a long sorry I can hit from two tiles out, which is also rad as fuck. Oh, nice. See, f five full damage on that red dragon there. Even though you can't really see the color of it. Because I got this, the super cool ass sunglasses. This is very dangerous. I know I'm gonna fuck this up even before I hit the zone one boss. That's okay. We got plenty of time tonight to learn from our fuck ups. Ow, see, look at that. Now I don't have a weapon, I gotta go pick it up again. So what does this mean? Plus two damage, missed beat, breaks. Okay. All right, so now I don't have the, uh, the sunglasses on so I can see my shit. But if I miss a beat, I lose my fancy headgear. Which sucks. Oh, nice. So now here's the glass flail, which does kind of a sweep in a five block thing around you. I don't know. It's kind of hard to see if you're not paying attention. Um, and it also does pushback. But this is going to screw me up even more because it's not like a regular hit pattern. And I'm going to forget like super hard and either do a strike when I don't want to or not strike when I do want to, which is uh, unfortunate. But uh, that's how it goes sometimes. All right, we're just gonna keep going then. So now I've got the base four with the glass weapon plus two for my headgear. So I'm hitting at a solid six. Nice. All right, so now if I play this right, I don't know if I can hit this guy with what I got. Oh yeah, I can. Boom. Eat shit. <laughs> Just took a little bit of extra thinking. Alright, what do we got? So, if you perfect a boss, 
which this is the first boss that I've done tonight because I suck, um, you get a, your pick of three chests, red, purple, or uh, black. So black usually has, or always has, a pick of weapon or armor. Uh, purple has magical items, spells, rings, and shit like that. Red usually has torches and uh, food items. So I would like a torch or a food item. Torch of foresight is not bad. Dad was We're gonna skip the story. I mean, the story's great. I mean, it gives you a reason for playing. But, oh shit, see, I fucked it up. So not only did I lose my weapon, I lost my headgear and I got dead. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, that's how that shit goes. Damn. That's unfortunate. I like the glass weapons. They make me feel like a powerful dude. But then I die, and then I feel all sad inside. That's okay. Let's take a quick peek at the shop here. Alright, so we got uh, some armor, we've got a rapier, and a red chest pass. Hard pass, because I don't got no money. Is there an option where it makes you move on every beat, but you can only choose the direction? I don't believe so. Ooh, lunge for wide attack. What does that mean? Oh, wow. All right. That's going to throw me off super hard. Oh, man. I don't even know how to explain this attack pattern. So if I am too away from an enemy and it's within range, I will automatically attack and move forward. However, it doesn't have the effect. Oh, shit. So that just sped up the song a little bit, which is not the greatest, but usually in, uh... Oh, alright, please be careful. Oh my goodness, this is so dangerous. This is so dangerous. So anyways, what was I saying? Oh, about the movement thing. Right, 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 right. Um, that option would kind of make this unplayable, because sometimes you don't want to move, and even though you lose your multiplier, it might just save your life. Uh, purchase an item. How much do I have? We got 79. Fuck me. There are certain items that will adjust your movement pattern. For example, there are boots that will make you move uh, two tiles at once. Those you can toggle on and off. Uh, shit, what am I doing here? This is, this is a very dangerous weapon. What am I doing? All right, we're just gonna play it safe. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, I don't think there's anything up in the shop I really cared too much about, so let's move on. Dang, I, I kinda wanna get to some of the later zones. Ow, fuck, that was dumb. Because the songs in those are a lot more fun to sing. Like, these are good. Let's, let's, let's not mince words about it. These are great songs, all of them are great songs. But uh, the later ones especially are just like, mm, so good. <clears throat> which means the shopkeeper kind of goes nuts when he does his little singing voice, which means I will summarily go nuts when I do my singing voice. <laughs> that was super dumb. So I lunged in for a single attack, but the Skeleton decided to attack me right after, so I got dead real quick. Yikes. <clears throat> Ooh, I think this is a new variation on the song I haven't heard before. Yeah, it's so rad. It's like five or six sets, and you can choose which ones you want, but just sticking it on random is probably some of the most fun. Never know what you're gonna get. Oh, uh, that shit is dumb. So we saw a very brief glance of zone two, like two runs ago. Ah, oh, crap, shit. That was nice. All right, so I got half a defense. So anything that does full heart of damage will not do a half a heart, but anything that does half heart of damage will still do half heart, because otherwise you could get so stacked on defense that nothing could hurt you. That would be super dumb and stupid. Um, the bard. That is a good question. 
What what's so special about the bard? I know there's the monk, which you don't have to pay attention to the beat at all. Where everything moves when you do. With the same rules and such. But I'm not sure what the what the gimmick is with the bard. We'll get to him eventually. I can never pull my head out my ass and complete an actual run here. Isn't there one if you move off beat you die? Yes. Yes, correct. That is Aria. Where it's not even just that if you move off beat you die. It's that you can only have a dagger. And you only have half a heart. So it's effectively one hit KO on you. And you only have the puniest ass weapon possible. Which I have never completed an Aria run, which is a big shock, I know. But that shit's hard, man. That shit's super hard. Maybe, if we're lucky, we'll get to try some of that. If I'm feeling punchy one night or whatever. Or drunk. Whatevs. Is it the bard that does that? Oh, right. That's right. I was thinking of the monk. The monk is different. Uh, the monk is where you die if you pick up gold. But yes, the bard is correct. You don't have to uh, pay attention to speed at all. But shit does, does still move normally. So you do have to pay attention to that. I don't even know why I have the speedrun timer down on the bottom. I'm not going to be doing speedruns of this. <laughs> I've watched speedruns of this, and it's fucking impressive as hell. Because they, like, make regular seven-minute, six-and-a-half-minute, six-minute runs through the entire fucking game. And it's it's just crazy. It's crazy nuts. It's crazy nut. Oh, nice. Crazy nuts how good some people are at this game. But I'm certainly not one of them. Alright, I'm gonna try to play this out the correct way, so I can hit him with the coin multiplier 3. So I get all of the gold from his death. There we go, perfect. Bam! Eat shit minotaur. Oh, damn it. Fucking monkey. Ooh, I forget what this one does. I think it... Oh, yeah, okay, so it tells you right there. Gain shovel and get bigger levels as a result. Well, I kind of like that. So let's do that. So I took myself an obsidian shovel. So obsidian shovel, obsidian items in general, they have the strength of your coin multiplier. So right now, I have a tier three shovel as long as I maintain my, uh, hold on a second. I think I paid a little bit of attention to this. Um, so I have a tier three shovel as long as I maintain my coin multiplier at three. All right, hold on a second. God, that's a hard note to hold. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, so the item I just bought is the Karate Gi, which doubles my damage, but also doubles the damage I take. Which is going to be super unfortunate for me, because it's effectively a one-hit kill on me right now. And even if I have, like, full health, it means that most things will kill me anyways. Ah, fuck, I lost my multiplier there. That's all right. Oh, jeez. So right... Oh, my goodness. Oh, he had, like, three chances to kill me, and he didn't take it. Oh, eat shit, though, Red Bat. <laughs> This is why red dragons are problematic with just a dagger, because you gotta get right up in there. But at least I've got the double damage from the karate gi. There we go. Ah, eat shit, monkey. All right, I forgot I had the double damage thing. I was I was thinking I was only doing one per per use, but I am doing two per because of the uh, the good old armor I've got on, which isn't armor at all, really. 
Doesn't protect me against shit. Oh, reduces damage to one. Uh, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the damage boost. <clears throat> I'm gonna stick with the damage boost because I like to play dangerously. Which really helps when I'm a big dumb idiot. Cause I'll just charge in without forming a plan. And usually things don't work out. But it's a lot of fun to play it that way anyways. Oh, that was almost an unfortunate move. Oh shit! What? Oh man! See, there's, there's right. I lost track of the movement patterns, and that's what happens. <laughs> so I got killed. Good work. Dang it. That's okay. That's usually what happens on King Kongo, let's be honest, because it's that it's that little eighth beat skip that kind of fucks me over. Even though it's like the super easiest thing to predict. You just gotta glance down real quick and you know when it's coming. But then you gotta translate that into a, an, an effective plan of action, which is what I of, often lack. But, uh, you know, that's just how she goes. Nice. Oh, cool, titanium broadsword. So broadswords hit the three tiles in front of you. A very wide sweep. Which sometimes you don't want, because if you attack something that's in front of you when you're about to get hit by something else, you're either better off not attacking or hoping that you had like a... Oh, fuck me, really? I just got hit straight out the bat there. Awesome. God, I hate those fucking auto doors, too. Just throw me off so much. But anyways, titanium weapons have base 2 damage. Or 2 base damage, rather, not base 2. <clears throat> Which happens regardless of what other stuff you got equipped. So, twice as good as normal, which is really nice. And pretty much any any item, any usable item like a, a sword or a shovel, or any any type of weapon really, can have any tier. So there, there's the normal like, I guess normal steel tier or whatever. Which is the base one, or one base thing, either one base, uh, dig or one base damage. And then there's the titanium levels, which is, uh, two, uh, tier two. And there's, there's obsidian, which is based on your, oh man, I think I want to go in there. Uh, uh, can I do this in such a way where I bust open that shrine? Yes, I can. All right. Oh, nice. All right, so Ring of Regen gives me heals each level that I make it through, and then a potion which saves my life once and only once, but it refills it. Like, if I get hit, and it would have killed me, it refills my life right away. So it consumes a potion, but you get a new lease on life. Rad as fuck. Um, but anyway, so the Titanium tier is, uh, gives you two base, so two dig or two attack. Obsidian is based on your coin multiplier. Uh, there's the blood tier, which either uses your life to dig, if it's a blood shovel. Or, it gives you heals for every 10 kills you make, like a blood sword or a blood dagger or something like that. 
And then there's glass, which is base uh, four base damage or dig. So a glass shovel can dig through pretty much everything. With the exception of the shopkeepers, uh, shopkeep walls there. Or shop walls, rather. There's a few other materials as well. Um, some of them are new and I'm not familiar with them. But I will try to call them out when we see them. Let's see, I got four bombs. We haven't visited the shop yet. Let's just go take a quickie peek. And for whatever reason, the shopkeeper doesn't care if you, like, blow up the entirety of a shop, pretty much. As long as you don't destroy his shit. Or hit him. Uh, kill to heal, low health equals plus damage. Alright, no, we gotta, we gotta go. <laughs> we gotta go, we gotta get the fuck out. Because it's not really that much of a problem if you, uh, don't make it out of the level in time. It just drops you to the next level immediately. But you, uh, lose your coin multiplier. So there, I got half, or no, full heart of heals from my ring there. What happens if you hit the shopkeeper? You cannot hit him directly. Um, but you can piss him off. So if you detonate a bomb near him, or if you throw a weapon at him. So here's kind of a problem with the broadsword as not moving as much as I wanted to because I was hitting the shit out of everything. Worked out that time. Um, but yeah, so you can, you can use a bomb on him. You can uh, throw a weapon like a dagger or a spear at him. And it does damage. It does damage, and you can kill him. Uh, which you get, like, some really cool shit for killing him. You get a crown of gold and a bunch of money, and you get to steal all the shit out of his shop. Um, however, he has eight health. He moves on every beat. And he... Uh, I think he does respect knockback, though. So if you have a knockback weapon like the flail, uh, or the blunderbuss, I think he would be affected by that. But he's just very dangerous, and he moves in all eight directions, not just the four cardinal ones. So there are some pretty safe strats for actually killing him intentionally. Uh, one of which I know about, but will probably never do. <laughs> because I like not pissing the shopkeeper off, because I'm not good enough to deal with him on a consistent basis. Ah, fuck. But to certainly, if you're going for a score run, you you kill the shopkeeper the first uh, first chance you get. Uh, am I going to bother with this? I'm going to try. If I can dig around this box, I might be able to pop it open on that spike trap there. A little skull. And we don't have to waste a bomb. Oh, we got a bomb. All right, so would have been 1-1. One, one. Is this 1-3 one, or 1-2? One, I think based on my time, this is 1-3. Oh, it even says in the bottom right corner. I don't know if that's visible on stream. Depth 1, level 3. Do, do, do. Damn it. All right, so I didn't perfect that, so I don't get a free chest at the end. But that's all right. Oops, nice idiot. Dad was always coming. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Story. So obviously there are quick skill strategies for pretty much every boss, but I am nowhere near of the skill level to make use of even the most basic ones. Because you can, with uh, King Konga, you can bomb his throne to get him off there really easy. Like, right away. And if you place your bomb correctly, I believe you can even uh, bomb his throne, destroy the throne, and hit him at the same time. Which is kind of rad. The old two monkeys with one bomb trick. That's what they call it, right? Oh, fuck, well, that was dumb. I should have known better than to go in for that. Oh, this bastard. Yeah, nice. So, each zone has unique enemies. Mushroom deals spray shit in every direction and every four beats, I think it looks like. And then there's a higher tier one that does it every two beats, which is kind of a pain in the butt. 
And then there's these little mimic enemies that move in the opposite direction you do. Oh, I can purchase an enemy. Uh, I got a lot of gold, so let's do it. Let's buy some boots. Ah, uh, I don't like the boots of leaping. Fuck me. Why? Why do we have that? I don't like that. Uh, so we're gonna take them off. <laughs> I will buy a torch, though. A torch of walls? What the fuck does that mean? Oh, okay, so now I can see all the walls in the level. Regardless of where I am. That's pretty neat. Uh, there we go. So the Banshee deafens you on every hit that you deliver to her. Which makes it very difficult to hear the music. Which is kind of critical when you want to stay on beat. Um, but usually it's not that difficult, as long as you don't get cornered by something else while you're dealing with her. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, Freddy Merchant Tree. You crazy fellow, you. Do, do. Ba, ba, da, do, do. No, I'm not going for the blood axe. It screws up my movement too much. Plus, I like the uh, two base damage I get with the titanium broadsword. Plus, the attack pattern on it is much more regular. Much more of what I'm used to than uh, the axe with the crazy ass lunge. Maybe if I'm feeling punchy, I'll buy, like, some super exotic weapon. But until that time happens... Alright, so there's the tier 2 mush that, uh... Sprays his shit every other beat. Ah, oh, he's got 3 health. I, I couldn't remember if he had 3 or 2 health. If he had 2... Oh, alright. Alright, glass armor is kinda nice. It will absorb any damage attack. Only once. And then disappear. Nice. Oh, saw a little sparkle sparkle. Free gold. But anyways, it'll take any attack. Absorb any attack where you won't take any damage at all, but then it breaks and you lose it. Oops, nice. Well, I, I knew I sh shouldn't have dug through that, but I did it anyways. I tried to. Alright, what do we got here? Oh, the glass broadsword. All right. Well, I'm a sucker for risky play. Let's do it. So now we can bust the hell out of this barrel. Ah, nice. There's some good boots. All right. So now, uh, now I'm immune to any terrain effects, which if we ever make it to zone three, these will come into great play. It means I don't slip on ice. I don't take damage from heat floors. I don't trigger spike traps or... Oh, nice. Heavy glass armor. Um, I don't trigger spike traps, I don't trigger trap doors, I don't trigger the uh, little bounce panels. Tempo up, tempo down. It just solves a lot of problems for you. Do I get the item that lets me sh shoot brimstone? Uh, I believe the wand in that shop actually has a distance attack. Not brimstone, but I believe it is a distance attack. But we're not going to buy it. Oh, that's right. I got the glass thing. I was, like, wondering. I had a specific count <clears throat> that I was counting for for that big guy. But I forgot I had four base damage now instead of two. Oh, shit. All right. You got to watch out for that. Watch out for that little, little red dragon. What a shit. Ah, oh, fuck. All right, well, there goes my glass armor. Okay, good. Good. So that would have broken my uh, glass broadsword, but I had the glass armor to absorb it for me. So now I am entirely without armor. Back to normal. Ah, oh, shit. Well, there goes my uh, glass broadsword. Now I'm back to just one damage, which sucks. All right, I actually would prefer the walls. Well, so that's how quickly things can change. Ouch, see? All right, so there goes my potion now. I should be at full health, which I am. 
but there goes my potion. So I've burned a lot of my best items <laughs> on this fucking level. Oh, fuck off. Yeah, well, hindsight is twenty twenty, man. I mean, the glass broadsword was good while it lasted. Let's not mince words about that. I don't know the rest of the song, so otherwise I would have kept going. So now I can just walk up and beat the shit out of him. I'm actually gonna do this for safety. Ouch. Well, that was actually kind of dumb because it didn't even hit the dude I was aiming for. But. Boots of Levitation really uh, helped me out here because I don't have to deal with all this water now. <laughs> Bam. No props. And we're gonna get our health back because of the ring. So, rad as fuck, we're on to zone three. Yeah, first time tonight. Mom died when I was only seven. <clears throat> you make a custom song where I sing I that part instead of play on that. Well, the funeral. I don't know, man. Maybe? No choice, <laughs> oh. I suppose we could have listened to the story while I drank, but oh well. So zone three is fun, because there's effectively two songs in one here. Ouch. There's one variation of it when you're on the warmer side of things, so in the red zone. And then there's another variation on it when you're in the blue side of things. Ow. But this is really where the... Uh, Winged boots really come in play. So otherwise, I'd be slip sliding on this ice. I'd be taking damage on those heat tiles over there. Just makes things a whole butt ton easier. Now we're getting into the good songs, though. So if I ever make it over to the shop, really start belting it out. Uh, can't hear the song. Ow. Fuck. Alright, I'm almost dead. <laughs> this isn't good. Oh, that was dumb. I should have known better than that. Ah, fuck. <laughs> fuck me. That's alright, we'll get back to it. It's not that difficult. <laughs> it's not that tough, I'm just being a big dumb idiot. Oops. See, like, the real kind of sad part is... Like, people actually good at this game that do speedruns would have been done with two runs by the time I made it that far. That's how sad and pathetic I am right now. No worries. We'll get to that point eventually, maybe not. Oh, that shit. Of course you would step right in front of it. I just want to fucking get it near this bomb tile so I don't have to waste my own bomb blowing it open. Oh, nice. See, wing boots right away. Hey, Jihad Jones. How you doing? Good to see you. Oops. Do I have enough for both of those? Hell yeah. Full mat for my troubles. Oh, 
God. I can't go that high. <laughs> Shit. Oh man, it hurts my vocal cords. <laughs> Ooh, a long sword is pretty nice. I just gotta know when to switch the octave of my voice in order to get more of that song in there. Because, uh, as it stands, it's kind of painful to try to go up that high. <laughs> I am not how you would say a soprano. Someone who actually did covers of the shopkeeper vocals. Yeah, I've seen a couple of those videos. It's super rad. And I'm so jealous that they can do that. How you doing, Enigma Chaos? Good to see you. <clears throat> oh, was that the new option that they added? I saw that checkbox there and like thinking, who the heck is this? But that's really cool. That's really fucking awesome and rad. I'll have to turn that on at some point and listen. Do 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 do. Oh, not to that point of the song yet. <clears throat> oh man, Jihad Jones, if you're gonna clip every time I sing, we're gonna have a butt ton of clips. Also, that's the wrong Yor, but who am I? Who am I to say otherwise? Boom, 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 boom. Uh, I prefer my long sword, thank you. Oh, I kind of want to risk the, uh, we're going to risk the, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> uh, damn, this goes right to a non-vocal part of the song. That was dumb. All right, well, whatever. Like, doing something silly, like some silly vocal work like that for a game would be really fucking cool. <laughs> Let's be honest, I would do that in a gosh dang heartbeat. But I just, I don't have like a good vocal range. That's the problem. Like my voice starts cracking and I lose my breath and all that shit. And it actually physically hurts. Ooh, that armor would be tempting, but I only got 264. I need a full grand. suffer for your arts. <laughs> this one's actually really fun to sing, but I'm not going to go back for it. Oh, jeez, that was very dangerous. I don't know why I was pacing that guy. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Blizzard. Oh, you can't break through those. Huh. I thought the Minotaurs could break through pretty much every block. Must be thinking of dragons. That's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, it's a really long part of the song, but I love it so much. Okay, let's take a little breather after that. It's really good shit, though. I mean, whoever does the original voice of the shopkeeper plus uh, whoever did the alternate of it <laughs> is pretty good. Nice.
All right, I'm gonna risk. Oopsie. Ah, uh, what do we got? Ah, it's a blood spear. Fuck. Wasn't worth it. Dad was all. <laughs> we'll sing for bits. See now, if I were an affiliate, that would have been a real thing, but I am not, so we can't do that. No, the blood spear is kind of bad, man. Like the the blood axe, I can see being a viable weapon. The blood spear, not so much. Not for me, anyways. I mean, the bard is fun and all, and it's it's great if you don't like keeping the beat, but it's also very dangerous, because if you just charge on in, shit'll happen to you super fast. But I can I can I can see where the the rhythm aspect might put some people off though. <clears throat> to me, it does offer a bit of strategy, and my strategy is to die immediately. <laughs> so it fits that strategy very well. Uh, I forget what the. Oh, good thing I came over here. There's a black chest. Oh wow, I could never hit that note though. The way high one at the beginning of that song. The beginning of that stanza rather. I just kinda made up that last part because I don't know how it uh, tapers down like that. What? Oh, I only had two attack. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. All right, well, there's another dumb death. Courtesy of me being an idiot. That's how she goes sometimes. <clears throat> Bard probably has a pretty high skill cap with how fast you can go. Yeah, agreed. It's easy to casually clear. Yeah, certainly, because you can just stand there and plan out your moves like 100%. Um, but I do still think you're constrained by the length of the song. As far as how much time you can spend on each level. Ah, oh, that was dumb. But yeah, casually, certainly, I can see it being, uh, a nice character to play as. Mm -hmm. Got enough for that apple, but nothing else. All right, all right. Next blood weapon. I'll pick it up. Jeez. Jeez. Fine. <laughs> it better not be a shitty blood weapon either. If it's a blood dagger, I might reconsider. So that is literally no better than my normal dagger, except being a blood weapon. Why did I lose the multiplayer there? That was dumb. Just double tap the button. Fat finger to button or something. <clears throat> so I wouldn't be surprised at all if I lost my voice uh, at some point while playing this. <laughs> Free defense is no no biggie. Man, I really wish I could get to some of the later zones so I could explain some more shit, but 
I feel like explaining it before the fact is going to just make me fail even harder, so... We'll just go until we can get to that point, and then I'll explain it. How's that sound? <laughs> Uh, I've only got one bomb, but I'm curious what's in here, so... Eh? A ham! We got a ham! We're about to go ham. Ham, I think, heals for four. Super rad. Ah, fuck. I've had some pretty good runs in the past, score-wise, but speedrun not so much. <laughs> I just do not have the processing power in my old mind brain to really do the quick execution and think about shit on the fly. But it's a fun game regardless, man. I mean, don't let my shitty play put you off it. Because it's actually really fun, even though I fail all the time. Uh, easy mode. Easy mode, I believe, is um, less enemies, more gold, and I think it ends after zone two. If I'm recalling that correctly, which I probably am not. Yeah, face down that minotaur, eat shit. I think I was off. I was off very severely on that one. I think I was singing the op opposing verse of that. That's all right. Oh, that was dumb. All right, well, I'm gonna go eat that cheese real quick. <clears throat> Not waste my precious ham on a half-hearted damage. Ow, oh, fuck, really? I get by there. That's kind of dumb. Whoa, look out. Oh, uh, dude, thank you. Oh, it's the fucking frog ass boots, too. That's so dumb. Oh, no. Ow. All right, ham it is. There we go. Not taking the frog boots, I hate them. I hate them so much. But that's the sort of thing that you need a presence of mind to swap between every now and again. And I just do not have that. At least not yet. Oh, didn't even see that crack down there. What do we got? Oh, I don't want to use any of those shrines. You can bomb all three of those shrines at once, but then you get you have to uh, deal with one of every type of dragon, green, red, and blue. Blue ones we haven't seen yet, but uh, they breathe ice instead of fire, and they freeze you to the spot for three turns. That's a real big pain in the butt, so I'd rather not deal with that. Oh, I didn't realize that uh, dance pad mode Aria started you at 4. Or 5, I guess, right? I guess that makes sense, considering that's where you start the normal game with her. But, hopefully at some point we'll actually see a couple Aria runs, but... Probably not tonight. And even if I do do it tonight... Heh, <laughs> doo-doo. No guarantees I'm gonna be any good at it. Wait, Blood Flail? What the fuck are you talking about, man? Was it in the shop? I'm not buying the Blood Flail. I'll pick up a free blood item. I'm not gonna waste my money on it. Oh, okay. Let's 
So now shit's starting to speed up a little bit. Oh, fuck off. Oh, oh my goodness. That is such a bad place to be. <laughs> fuck. Ah. Uh. It was that damn jump tile that fucked me over. Oh well. There, you can blame that on me not getting the blood flail, I guess, huh? No, I would have been fucked either way. Ow! Well, that was dumb. I wanted to blame but myself. Bump, 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 bump. Enjoy this or Gungeon more? Oh boy. You know, I enjoy them for different reasons. So I don't know if I could say if one is better than the other. Personal enjoyment wise. Because I love, I love, fucking love, 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 love singing in this game. I love it. It's super good. But I love the shooty McShoot bangs in the Gungeon. So I don't know. It's kind of a toss up. I have to give Gungeon another chance after launch or try to get into this? I don't know, man. Depends on what you're into. Like, Gungeon is definitely more panic-inducing. So if you're if you're one of those people that are into panic, and if you are, I'm not judging. Definitely go Gungeon. It's <laughs> Gungeon. Nice. Combination of judging and Gungeon. <laughs> that was a super bad word. Um, so if you're into panic and, like, super frenetic gameplay, definitely go Gungeon. But if you want something a little bit more strategic or something a little bit less on the beaten path, I guess, definitely go Crypt. <clears throat> Is there anything in the shop worth getting? I don't think so, right? All right. Fuck it. Uh, can I? I think there's a trapdoor down there. All right. So I think this works. Is If you put a, a crate or a, a barrel or something down one of the trapdoors, you'll find its contents in the little, next lower floor here. Ah, yeah, and there's the gold. Excellent. Ah, oh, that was dumb. Should've hit the monkey first. Ah, oh, come on, Sam! Expand your horizons! I mean, Isaac is a guaranteed good game. You know that already. Play something new. But no, I understand. Like, neither of them is really... It, neither of them is really for anybody. Oh, the crossbow. Fucking rad. And it's obsidian, too. Alright, so we got a distance weapon that shoots four tiles. That needs to be reloaded. With a good old up-down combo move there. But it does base three damage. Oh my goodness. Oh! 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 Obsidian rapier. Fuck yeah. Alright, so rapiers. You can attack from two tiles away, and if you do, it doubles the base damage. So, let's see, bam, look at that, that's so rad. So with the base damage three, fully charged Obsidian Rapier, and attacking from two away, that does six fucking damage. Rad as hell. Um, it also uh, forces you to move when you attack from two away as well, so it kind of lunges in. It's great, I love it. Obsidian weapons are awesome, but the rapier is probably the best. Probably the best. In my humblest of opinions. You like being decent at games, though. Well, how do you get decent at games, man? You play them. You play them, you practice, and you be a tryhard for a while, and then you're finally decent at a game. I don't know. Oh, yeah, okay. So I can do three base damage to this barrel with just the rapier. Just fucking rad. Let's see what we got. Oh, nice. Then a plus one damage ring. <laughs> so I'm doing plus, uh, I'm doing four base damage now. Which is super good. And I'm not, I don't know if the rapier damage bonus kicks in before or after the ring bonus. Because if it's after, I'm doing eight damage on a lunge. But if it's before, I'm doing seven damage, so I guess it doesn't make that much of a difference. Oh, 
Yeah, I'm certainly not picking up any blood weapons unless I mysteriously lose this one. Which I don't think is gonna happen. Oh, it's a gold weapon. So gold weapons are interesting. See, look at that. One shot that motherfucking dragon. What an idiot. That's what he gets for standing there. The gold weapons are interesting. They do infinite damage on the beat after you pick up some gold. So if you are standing next to a boss, even with like 10 HP or something, and you pick up some gold in the tile next to him, and then your next move does damage to them, they are dead. Like super dead, no questions asked. Which is nice, but it's kind of hard to use and set up that way. Plus, it's kind of of limited use anyways, because you got to be next to gold. Oh, nice. Uh, ooh, uh, ooh, uh, ooh. What do I get when I blow up a peace shrine without, um, without taking it? I think I get an empty heart container. I think we're going to do that just in case. I'm going to pick up that scroll, too. Oh, no, we get a ring of peace. Uh, I've already got a ring of might. No, we're going to keep the ring of might, so I wasted that bomb. I think it's the sacrifice table that gives me an empty heart if I don't fully fill it up. Is there an item that spawns gold? Um, yes. Well, no, wait. Um, gold weapons also force all enemies to drop gold, regardless of uh, what tier they are. Which I think there are some enemies that don't drop gold at all, so that's kind of the that's kind of the thing about it, you know. Ooh, shovel. Ooh, shovel of courage. We'll grab the map and the bright ass torch. So torches are nice. You don't start with a torch, but um, it lets you light up tiles beyond walls. And there's a lot of different tiers of them. So you got normal, a uh, tier two, the bright torch, and then a uh, luminous torch, which is tier three. So they light up one, two, and three tiles. Damn it, why am I keep dropping the beat here? Oh, I don't like this one. Fucking ass, chessboard ass, motherfuckers. So now, the pieces have the movement patterns of normal chess pieces. So rooks can only move horizontally, bishops can only move diagonally. Pawns move one step at a time, queens move in every direction. Kind of nuts. Alright, what do we want here? I would like a spell. Cast Fireball. Oh, nice! Ah, oh, but I leave my scroll behind. Alright, that's fine. I gotta remember Death to use that, though. Coming and going on his adventures. <clears throat> but this time he seemed more excited. Alright. Let's, let's not do a dumb this time. I've got the fucking weapon of my dreams. Some armor, but not the best health. Oh wow, that guy actually saved me. What a shit. What a shit loser. He saved my life. Well, might not save my life, but he saved me from taking a lot of damage. Like, pretty much the only thing that could make this better now is some, uh, winged boots. That would really help me out here. Make me sound like I've got an upset stomach. It's really hard to maintain that voice for long periods of time. Oh, nice. Okay, so we got some free, free uh, defense there now too. Excellent. So the problem with doing like the whole full-on shopkeeper opera voice is that it's like really good for maybe three seconds and then it just deteriorates so rapidly. But whatever. Such is the price. Such is the price we must pay for three seconds of excellence. Oops, that was dumb. Still a one-hit kill though because of the lunge attack. Ah, 
Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, oh, do I have any? I don't have any health items either. <clears throat> uh, there's a ring of gold. Extra storage. I guess we'll take extra storage. It doesn't really matter. Oh, is that a mimic? Yeah, that's a mimic. Yeah, nice. We got some health. All right, what do we need? We need left and right. I think that's how that goes. Alright, this is pretty much full clear. Let's get the fuck out. <clears throat> Gotta remember that I've got that uh, fire tome up there too, so if I get if I get to be in a bad way and I get nice and panicky, I might see a fire a couple of those get fired off. Ooh. Gain items extra mini boss. Interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that one before. That must be pretty new. Or is that part of the Ampli DLC? Or Amplified DLC. Ooh, nice. Free heart container. Fuck yeah. Alright, let's do it. Oh, beautiful. What is that? What is that lower center? I can't get to it because I can't dig through that thing. I'm really curious what that is. Oh, oh, maybe one of these dudes can uh, bust it open for me. Thank you. What a very kind armadillo. What do we got there? X-shaped attack. Huh, interesting. All right, well, I'm taking the, the torch. The obsidian torch, which, uh, like other obsidian tier items, is a tier three torch, but only when I've got, only when I've got full coin multiplier, and it turns back into a tier one when I take a hit, and then tier two, and then it eventually will work itself back up to tier three. All right, fuck. See there, my little vision range went down a little bit. Ah, damn, that guy is in just such a is in just such a thing. There we go, perfect. <clears throat> Ooh. Oh, 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 look at this. Oh, no. Oh, I kind of want the, uh, I'm going to take the war ring. Nice. Then I can just fucking murder him. <laughs> murder him, like, super hard. Even though I'm, I'm sticking with, um, plus one damage. So that's all the war ring does, really. Although it makes uh, higher tier enemies and more enemies. So I'm probably fucked myself over pretty hard here. But that's all right. We got the gear to deal with it. Hey, Archmuffin, how you doing? By zero of nine characters, you mean I'm doing an all-character run? No. <laughs> no. Oh, nice, another obsidian weapon. Lots of obsidian this time. <clears throat> By zero of nine, which should really read zero of 14, because there's 14. Um, I mean, I'm going to try to do a full run with all the characters, just not, like, right in a row. Because that would be ridiculous. I can't even make it through one with any reliability. There's no way I could do an all characters run. Ah, uh, this is the newest one. I don't know quite how to deal with them. All right, it's fine. I don't know quite what his pattern is, so I guess we're gonna learn some things tonight. Ow. Ow. Oh, this dude. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna murder all his skeleton viewers there. Shit. Ow, bastard. God damn it, I'm gonna die. Wait, unless I do. Yeah, eat shit. I remembered I had the fireball. <laughs> Oh, man. Woo! Mom died when I was only seven. I heard Dad and Uncle Eli arguing after the funeral. Now I have no choice, mm. Eli. I have to find... Yeah, yeah, blah, 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 plot. All right, now we're back in zone three for the second time. 
which is embarrassing, but what are you gonna do? Oh, oh, that's right. I don't have the I don't have the floaty boots, so I gotta be a little careful here with my steps. Because I can land on these tiles once without taking damage, but if I end my turn on them, I would just, will take a half heart. And now it's super slidey ice tiles, so great ice physics. Every game manages to work them in somehow. Ooh, teleport on hits? Hell yeah. Take that. So now I'm probably gonna surprise the fuck out of myself next time I get hit. Cause I'll disappear, and then reappear somewhere else I'm not expecting. And it'll be a big ass problem. Oh, whoops, that's right. There's another dude standing there. <clears throat> so as the zones progress, it gets a little bit more technical. Like, you need to pay it more attention. See, like, right there. It surprised me. So, it took me to the shop, which is nice, and it made me, like, oopsie. I wasted that. Uh, left and right. But, at least it got me some, uh, some good old cheese. Not doing it nearly as poorly as I was in the past. I don't know why I lost it there. Weird. <laughs> 14th level requires you to know all characters from to unlock anyways. Yeah, that's true. So it's pretty unlikely closer to 0% chance of me ever unlocking that 14th character. Oh, I could use a better shovel too, huh? Yeah, too late. Ooh, extra armor? Do. Oh, this one's real fun to sing to. Whenever he starts singing, we'll stick around for a bit. I had to switch octaves mid voice there because it was getting a touch too high. Ow! Whoops! Yeah. So there, I took damage because I was standing on the on the hot tile at the end of my turn. Oh fuck! Ooh. That might actually be worth it, considering how often I'm dropping the beat accidentally, but you know what? I actually kind of prefer the defense. Damn it, I missed the second verse of that. That's all right. Let's just get the fuck out. This one I don't recognize as much. Oh, now I do. Okay. Oh, this is so dangerous. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. I took a stupid damage there. Wow, why are there so many? Is it because of the thing I got? Is it because of that shrine I busted open the other time? Oh, shit. Yeah, alright, so you, you lose beat on this and it's like really super hard to get it back. So now, one more hit and I'm toast. Damn it, I was really hoping for some health in there. Little shits. Oh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> Had to try to not panic. Try to not panic my way into my own untimely death. Like, that wasn't even panic, that was just stupid. <laughs> oh, man. Damn it. As far as we've gotten tonight. Oh, the, the crown? Is that what you're talking about? 
Yeah, that's right. I forgot it. Always, always put you to the shop, which always surprises me every time. It's just like, well, because usually I'm not expecting to get hit ever, even though I probably should. <laughs> All right, back we go. Back we go. That's unfortunate because I had some really good weapons and a fair amount of armor. Ouch. <sighs> but that's how she goes sometimes. We could probably swap up to a different character here if I don't if I don't beat it this time. Which I'm not gonna. We'll we'll move on to a different character. And we'll come back to Cadence some other nights. Whoa, what the hell? Uh, I couldn't read whatever that text said, so I'm not sure what that item is. Oh, nice. Free bombs and kaboom as soon as I lay them down. Oh, does it uh, freeze all the monkey ones? That would be super rad, because I hate them so much. Oh, must. Interesting. Okay. That makes things a little bit simpler. What a weird item. It's like very specific. It freezes only a, a, a certain type of character, or a certain type of enemy, right? And they're not even that all that uh, common. Uh, but I did see a sparkle sparkle up here before that I didn't grab on the way through, so let's grab that real quick. Real quick like, and then make our way out, I think, because there's nothing really special in the shop, right? I guess we'll check. We'll check one more time. Oh yeah, there's a carrot and a broadsword that I can't afford, but I would totally buy that. Titanium tier, base damage two. Anything to help me get through this. Alright, uneventful one one. No cool gear. Ow, what? Ah, oh, that's right. So the, the gold slimes are the little square square movement pattern. Threw me off. What's that? Ooh, a piercing. A ring of piercing. Interesting. Okay. Uh, 375. We might have enough for that by the end of this level. Who knows? Oh, this is a bad place to be. I'll do that. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, what the fucking... Oh, no, it's down here. All right. I was about to say, the stairway's right in front of the doorway? That's dumb. What if I want to get in here and beat some ass? Before I take a trip downstairs. How much how much was it? 375. Fuck. I think we're gonna have enough. Unless I make my way all the way to the north. Stop at the shop on the way through. Cause I really want that ring of piercing. I'm not it's probably not the greatest item, but anything just anything to fucking help me out ah uh, 375 can we do it i don't think we can do it we can try to get the barrel over there and hopefully it's got some gold in it and then hopefully i have enough time to get back to the shop and down the stairs nice fucking clutch two gold to spare oh plus i could have killed that guy i suppose huh we should just have, have just enough time to get back. Alright, so I'm not in, entirely positive about what this ring of piercing does. 
but uh, we will see, won't we? I think it means I can attack through shields and shit. Ooh, and I kind of want to beat these bats' buttholes, though. Uh, we're gonna have enough time to do it. Oh yeah, there was another verse on that. Oh, fuck. And <laughs> I did the, the dumbest thing. Really wouldn't have mattered, I guess. Should have just left it. Should have just left it. Didn't because greed. So now does this pierce the... No, it doesn't. Okay. Oh, 150. I don't have enough. Oh, nice. Obsidian Spear now. Excellent. Now, I just gotta be a not big dumb idiot and actually use it properly. Nice. There we go. That's the way. Excellent. Big old pile of gold. Alright, what was I gonna buy from the shop, though? That I didn't have enough for? It wasn't a weapon, was it? It was, it was like an item, right? We're gonna go back for it. Shit! I wasn't paying attention to the little jump pad up there. Fuck! That was dumb. I I, sh I knew better. I like I like I saw it, but I didn't quite process it. I saw it, but just could not react fast enough. All right, we'll do one more cadence run, then we'll swap it up a little bit. Then we'll do our last few runs for the evening with somebody else. Uh, Oh, map would be nice. 63. I'm sorry if anybody is watching this expecting, like, pro-level play. Because you're not going to see it. <laughs> you're not going to see it from me. I'm just having fun. Having fun, doing a little, little singy-sang. And trying my best. And my best is not very good. <laughs> well, it's okay. It has been a while since I played this, like, seriously, so... I have been better in the past. Just take a, a little bit to get the groove. To get my groove back on. Ha ha, ho ho, he he. And avoid stupid shit like that. Oh, all right. Gold dagger is fine. Oh, perfect. See? Yeah. So infinite damage after you pick up gold. And I was just lucky enough to be standing right there, and I didn't read what this uh, shovel did. Oh, now infinite damage right after I shovel something. So if I buffer my moves by digging into the walls and shit, it's going to be a brilliant fucking ass shot. I don't know, is it a tier 2 shovel or is it just tier 1? What is tier 2? <gasps> Ooh, a blood shop. Ah, uh, no. See, if that were any other blood weapon, probably I'd pick it up. But it's a blood whip, and I don't like whips. At least not in this game, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the whips have a weird-ass attack pattern. It's like the, the five tiles in front of you, like it would cover the entire row above me. And I would attack anything in that entire row, which is super weird. And it throws me off so bad, so I'm not gonna- I didn't get the, the whip. I know that will disappoint someone in particular, especially since it was a blood weapon. But those are the sacrifices you have to make sometimes.
So if I'm lucky, I can lure one of these mini-bosses right next to a pile of gold and just one-shot the fuck out of them. Oh, nice. Alright, so we got some okay armor. Oh, that was dumb. <laughs> but I, th I think the kind of the downside to this armor is that it makes every attack do one, one full heart of damage. Even if it's normally an attack by a low-tier enemy that would only do half a heart. It's like, well, there's your fucking downside, right? Oh, nice. Now we got some good old wing boots. Oh, that was fucking dumb. But the plus side is, now I don't have to worry too much about the little bossy bosses. Fuck. I'm really wasting all this. Alright. I won't, I won't try to lure him around. I'm gonna try to do this, though. Yeah, there we go. Nice! I got that special-ass shovel, you know? Uh, okay, let's get the fuck out of here. Really use a potion or something. Ooh, yeah, I'll take the rapier. Oh, it's a titanium rapier, too. Excellent. So now two base damage plus double damage on lunge means maximum of four damage. If you can count. Which I can sometimes. But look at that. Four ass damage right there. Grillo. I don't I don't want to get the mystery weapon though. <laughs> this seems like a dumb idea. But it's pretty much one hit KO for me at this point. So I got the armor that does the whole Makes every attack do one full heart of damage, so we gotta be careful. Which almost necessarily means I'm going to die almost immediately. Oh, especially with this dude, too. Son of a bitch. Oh, wow. Holy shit. I just did enough damage to fucking one-shot him. That's rad. Very close, too, so I'm gonna hope for some health. Damn it! Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so the glass jaw is interesting. Um, pretty much one hit KO for me, no matter how much health I've got. But, in return, it doubles all of my damage Dad output. Was always coming and going on his adventures. So now base damage output with this titanium rapier is now four. And lunge is now eight. So it's super fucking powerful. Oh, obsidian armor, huh? It's not really gonna matter. Because any hit right now is gonna be insta-death. But I guess it looks cool, so we'll keep it on. So obsidian armor does the same kind of three-tiered system that other obsidian uh, weapons and items do. As long as my uh, coin multiplier is three, I've got three defense. But... If I lose my coin multiplier, I only have one defense. Oh, all right, we're gonna get the fuck out of there. I'm gonna rethink that a little bit. Ah, oh, that was a dumb fucking combo of shit. <laughs> okay, so this one bears a little bit, little bit of explanation. So I lunged, I lunged forward, which would have normally put me at the tile right before the gold on the right there, but then that fucking skeleton ass wizard did his little wind suck spell, so it pulled me forward, and that allowed the, the skeleton with the shield bro on the south there to hit me. And killed me, so way to go. Good job, he gets a fucking gold ass star. What a shit. Alright, well. Okay, let's try Bard. Let's try Bard. I don't even know what some of these are. Tempo mode, one hit kills. Defeat enemies to survive. Huh. I don't think I've... That must be either new from Amplified or very new as of a recent update. Because I don't... I've never seen that. Very, very mode. Protect your lamb at all costs. Oh boy. A permanent escort mode. No thanks. Diamond? Use key combos to move diagonally. Holy shit. Okay. That kind of swaps it up. Nocturna I've seen. She can transform into a bat. I'm not... Uh, honestly, I'm not quite certain what transforming into a bat does for you. I've tried her, like, a couple times. But, alright, let's do Bard. No beats! Move at any time! Enemies move after me. Alright, so, total noob scrublord mode. Let's go. 
So now you can kind of plan your shit out and go super fast. But at the same time, you can get your shit super wrecked if you're not careful. It just, it just doesn't feel as strategic, but I'm sure if I actually slowed down and cared to plan out my shit. Uh, Nocturna flies, yeah, does four, does four damage, no shit. Like, four base damage? That's ridiculous. But I guess that's why you take damage when you transform into her, huh? That makes a little bit of sense. See, I, I ran right in without thinking about what I was doing, and I took a dumb hit there. Oh, I didn't even know you started with only two health with Bard, too. It's a little bit of balance out. See, I shouldn't have done that. But I ran right in again, so whatever. Let me see what is in the shop. Yeah, I think we did. All right, let's get the fuck out. Uh, 100. We've got 100. Let's buy, and buy a weapon. We got a harp. I'm not sure what the what's the pattern on these. Oh, that's right. Okay, so splash damage all around me. Which I guess is cool. If you have the right... <laughs> if you have the right thinking with the harp, you can do some pretty cool shit, but... On the other hand, it's kind of an irregular pattern, so... Gotta be a little careful. Oh, fuck. All right, let's just get rid of that. Fuck it. All right, we're gonna try to do this the cool and smart way. Uh, I'm not sure I can do this, actually. No, not gonna be able to do it the way I was thinking. Nice. All right, so that's cool. Splash damage is neat, but I had to think. I had to think long and hard about how to do that. Holy shit! <clears throat> oh, that's right. I forgot about the whole kind of death save thing for Nocturna. Interesting. All right, that makes a little bit more sense now. But I saw a little sparkle, sparkle. No. Okay. Oh, I see a chest down there now. It's a black one, so we might might get something better than this harp. Oh, now we got some more, some better armor. Even though it doesn't really help because I'm at half heart anyways. That's how she goes. Uh, I, I should have bought the, the ring first. Ring of Charisma. Halves prices at shops. I guess it would have been kind of useless. Considering I would have spent probably more money on it than I would have saved by getting it first. Triple kill. So yeah, you can really get you can really turn the speed on with Bard. With Bart. Bard. But holy shit, it's dangerous for a person like me who doesn't think a whole bunch before he acts. <laughs> you, you can just get on a tear and then you're dead because you're an idiot. See it like that. I didn't even need to fucking rush through that! And I still killed myself. My goodness.
That was super dumb. <laughs> that was super dumb and I shouldn't have done that. What are you gonna do sometimes? Ah, I don't really like the harp that much anyways. Sixty-three. All right, we'll come back for that maybe. Hey, free turkey or chicken, whatever. A free leg of some sort of cooked fowl. Bombs, bombs, bombs. Actually, I'm going to buy the apple right away and get full up. Left, grab this turkey or chicken or whatever. Pheasant. Oops. Killed my multiplier there just for no gosh dang reason. Little handicap never hurt anybody. Oh, yeah. Cheap boots. Excellent. Sorry. So now I'm not immune to spike traps, but I'm immune to water and hot tiles. Whoa. Oh, fuck. Well, that was actually the perfect time to have that. Because the dude with his head cut off was uh, cutting off the rest of his... Uh, Scale of buddies there prevented his, them from attacking me. That's rad. Fuck. Okay, I had to think about that for a, a hot minute. <laughs> and be like, wait, how am I getting out of this? Uh, I saw a little sparkle sparkle right there. All right. Oh, oops. See, you get on a tear. You're just running around the dungeon. It's just like, tink. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, the whip. Ah, shit. Bah, 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 bah. Although I think I took the hit from the spirit rather than the Minotaur, which was beneficial. Even though it was the fucking spirit's fault I was in that situation to begin with. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Ooh, torch. Torch, torch, torch. I do have a lot of bombs. Excuse me. Uh, is this a free item? I think? Oh, not free items, but cheap items. All right, we'll take another hard container. Because why not? All right, now this whip is going to fuck me over because of the pattern. The attack pattern. But, because I'm playing as Bard, <laughs> I have the time to think about it. Doesn't mean I'm gonna. But I'll try. Ooh. Actually, we'll take the staff instead. I'm not really familiar with uh, how staves work, but... I guess we'll see. Oh, right. Bam, boom, bam. Holy shit. That's actually really super good. So, a lined attack after you already attack something. That's neat. That could be super useful with some uh, damage boosters. Look at that. That's so rad. And also kind of OP. Ah, uh, of course he didn't line up for me. What a shit. Uh... We're fucked here, aren't we? Oh, wait, 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 wait. We're not fucked yet. Uh. Now what? <laughs> Alright. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, we got out of that with the fucking iframe from the food. 
That was some good ass thinking right there. Holy shit. Oh wow, I can't believe I had the presence of mind to do that. That's ridiculous. See, now if I didn't have the bard, I would have been super fucked. Because I would have had to make a move, like, super quick, and I didn't have that plan of action ready to go. Goodness. That was something, though. That was something. I will give myself kudos on that. Alright, there was something else I wanted to do, I thought. No? Maybe not. Alright, let's get the fuck out. Wow. Yeah, that's where that fucking... Yeah, here's where the, the stave will really come into its own. Just line them up, you little shit. Bam. 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 Lawless victory! Alright, uh, staff is nice. Staff is nice. We'll, uh, we'll grab... Hope for some armor. A oh, glass staff. Oh, even fucking better. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's wreck some shit. Oh, that's so good. Oh my goodness. We're gonna use that right away. Wow. Alright, so now we've got an infinite travel weapon that does four base damage. So good. <laughs> Alright, this dude needs to line up with him. No, stop it. Stop flying around, you shits. Alright, fine. Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. Let's just do that. Ah, alright. Now we got a <laughs> five damage weapon. Oh my goodness. We're really, really tearing it up pretty good now. Ooh, watch out for that dude, though. I could use a better shovel. Oh, I see both of them there. Okay. Yeah, now I'm thinking. I don't want to lose this shit. So now I'm starting to think a little bit. Uh, gain items slowly lose health. Uh... I don't need any help in the health losing departments. <laughs> ah, there's a good shovel. Okay, let's let's keep this rolling. We're doing kind of good now. Oh, careful. Okay, just be careful. Just wa watch the movements. Oh, that's right. I got the boots, too. All right. Forgot about that for a quick second. Nice. All right. Good thinking. Ah, the harp. Fuck you. <laughs> you screwed me once. I ain't letting that go. Alright. Uh, I think I've got enough to bust these shits open. Nice! Oh my goodness. So good. Alright, I'll grab that. Grab that. That. Grab that. Beautiful. So good. That dude. Excellent. Alright, we're tearing this up now. Uh, I know there's something with this weird ass ring, but I forget what it is. I think you need. Um, you need to pick it up and you need to have either a, a scroll of transmutation or a, a transmute spell, I think, right? And then it turns into like the best ring ever. Plus two damage, courage, and all that shit. I think that's how it goes. I don't know. Oh, whoa, okay. That scared me a little bit. As long as it didn't break my cool ass glass staff here. Oh, 
boots or whatever. Oh, oh. Jesus Christ, it scared me. <laughs> wow, all right. That frightened me. I didn't see that that was an explode explode. Shit. All right, well, let's grab this then. Let's grab the electric dagger. And we'll grab the boots because why not? So now we're not hitting for five, but we are hitting for at least three, I think. Plus it arcs between enemies now, which is super rad. This is a mimic, yeah? Shit. Oh, a glass, uh, whatever, 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 flail, right? Oh, that was dumb and stupid. Really? That did two damage to me? Fuck me. Yikes. That was dumb. That was my own fault. See, we can watch it. We can watch what, what kind of dumb I did there. I can look behind the text a little bit. Yeah, up two. Bam. All right. One more run for tonight, then we'll wrap it up. Save another run for next time. Ow. Save more runs and more singings for next time. Dang it. I was really enjoying that glass staff, though. That was really nice. Five damage plus, uh... Plus that fucking piercing line. Jesus. It's so good. Alright. Glass shovel. Alright. Fine. One over. Let's me do this. And... Oh... Should we do it? Let's do it. Let's 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 do a super danger run here. Glass whip, glass shovel. Ain't nothing gonna slow us down. Nothing. You hear me? This is perfect. Perfect run incoming. I saw a sparkle sparkle up there. Nope. Whoa! Oh jeez, it almost ended it right there because I ran in. Ran in super good. God, now I gotta think about what the attack pattern on this is. I see a sparkle sparkle in here somewhere though, right? No? Huh. Oh, there. Okay. Just had to use my mind's eye a little bit. Alright, good 1-1. One, one. We got some glass equipment. <laughs> and we gotta hope for the best here. Oh, what is that? Take hits near you. No, why would I do that? That seems like a bad idea. I'm sure it's kind of like the uh, the sacrifice table, right? You kill shit near it, and it gives you something really cool in return. Except the other way around. Oh, what's that? Do damage as I attack. Fuck yeah, man. Ow. So now we're really playing dangerous. Wait, so do damage as I attack? Isn't that kind of redundant? Oh, nice. <laughs> Jesus. So we've got, all right, so we've got base four because of the glass whip, right? And I think we've got plus three, two from the headgear, one from the ring. So we're doing a base damage of seven. That's ridiculous. Look at that, eat shit, Minotaur. What do you got? Wow, all right, so now we just gotta think it out and we'll be okay. Grab some cheese, I guess, so it's not insta-death on kill here, but it may as well be, because I'm gonna lose all my glass equipment. <clears throat> and one of my damage boosters. But whatever, we'll see it. We'll see what we can do with this. Shit. Shit. Okay, good. It's like, uh, please. Uh, let's grab those just out of a matter of course there. Heavy plate would be real fun, but I don't quite have enough for that yet. That's okay. Alright, the risky start is starting to pay off here, though. What happened there? What happened there? 
Whoa, what happened there? Whoa, what's going on? Why am I doing like splash kills here? Is that the ring doing this shit? Is it doing splash damage every time I attack something? That would be rad as fuck. It's like a harp, but non-stupid. Alright, it's getting a little dangerous. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I'm jumping to too many conclusions. That's alright. Looks like we're clear here. Uh, what are we doing here? Oh, it is. It is doing, like, damage around me every time. That's super good for this, actually. Uh, well, yeah, okay. <laughs> Eat shit. Wow. Alright, we'll grab a free bomb spell. Oh man. Alright, this is a little bit OP. I gotta I gotta say. A little OP now, but probably the biggest enemy is myself, so ow. Aww. Ah, and then I lose my damage boost uh, headphones there too. Because I missed a beat. Oh interesting. Okay. So that counts, I guess, since I'm playing as Bard, huh? Uh, it only does the ring of peace. I don't care about that. Uh, but I would like a nice torch. Alright. Oh, Jesus, what? Oh, it insta exploded. Oopsie. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, that'll make things a bit more problematic. Shit. Alright, now we actually gotta be careful again. Because I was a big dumb idiot and blew up my shit. Good work. But... We're not dead yet, so that's something. Ow. Still doing two damage because of the ring, but... Ow, fucker. Ow. Oh, Jesus. All right, well, now we're down to one hit KO. <laughs> Oopsie. Oopsie doopsie. All right, so this is made, this is taking a pretty serious turn, like real quick, like. Mostly because I am trying to rush around like a, not like a not very good speedrunner. <laughs> so let's be honest. Let's be honest there. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Let's do... Oh, shit. Okay, maybe I don't want this one. Because it has knockback, but it's, like, super long range. Oh, and I can't dig through that anymore because I lost my good shovel. And piercing, I think, right? I mean, so there's not... I guess it's not bad. I just need to be aware of my surroundings when I use it. <laughs> Plus it still functions as a normal dagger, I think, when I'm up close and personal. Oh. Oh, okay, all right. So here's the blood weapon, right? So I've, since I've got super low health, I'm gonna do infinite damage. Plus, every 10 kills, I gain half a heart. So there, it kind of saved me a little bit there. So blood weapons to the rescue. Plus it's got the weird ass lunge a little bit. Wow, we're getting a, a lot of exotic weapons. There's the gold staff. Uh, I don't think I can get... I don't have enough attack there. Let's do that. So now that I'm not at super low health now, now I do normal damage. But I still get the, uh... I still get the heals and kill 
on 10 kills. So I'm going to go a little bit out of my way to get some kills. So I can not die. Got a lot of normal bombs too. Holy shit. Excellent. All right, things are starting to look up a little bit. Things are looking up for the old bard. Oh, whoops. That's right. That's not how that lunge attack works. Oops. That's all right. We've got enough defense where most of our hits are going to be fairly low. Fairly low damage affairs. Not enough to kill him, though. There we go. Wow, this is actually a really weird attack pattern, and I'm doing really weirdly well with it. Nice. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Ooh, what do we got there? It's over in the center. That looks like a... Is that a titanium? I think that's a titanium staff, right? Ah, uh, shit. Wow. Alright. <laughs> this is a little weird. Oh, oh, okay. Careful now. Ow, shit. That's alright. We're still alive somehow. Through that, through that garbage decision process. Okay, how we doing? Let's go look for some health, I guess. What is that? Raise the walls. Interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that before either. Must be new. Okay, I think we're on to a boss now, so this could be the end. This could be the end, although now we don't have to rush. It's super nice. Plus, now we've got the super good. Nice. Oh, one more. Eat shit. <laughs> we did it. Flawless even. That was super good. All right, I'm going to go for some health, though, please. Restore full health and unhealthy. I'm not sure what the unhealthy means. Probably not great. It's probably kind of bad. Oh jeez, alright. Okay, let's not dick with that. However, I would, I would very much like these boots. Oh, alright. Shit. <laughs> okay, this is getting a little dicey. No! Ah, oh, damn it, I fucked it up! <laughs> oh shit. That was dumb. Let's rewatch that stupid. So I did the right thing by backing off and killing the wall mimic, but then I dashed right into him, so. Did work me. Ugh, that's dumb and stupid. Shit. <laughs> mm. Alright, that's it for tonight. Next stream will be Wednesday night, 7 p.m. CDT. We'll be coming back to this. I doubt I'm going to be able to beat maybe more than three or four characters at the most because the more exotic ones I just just blows my mind. Let's be honest. Goodness. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye bye.